Thank you guys for coming in. Um, congratulations not only on the movie, but like having a huge deal. So you have like not only your movie premiering, but now you know it's going to be seen by people outside of Park City. Yeah. So filmmakers first. Uh, been a long journey to get here. You started writing this uh, eight years ago. Eight years ago. Yeah. So what's your state of mind now? Uh, just bliss for me personally. Just excitement. I think it's also. Um, you know, it's it's not unlike many other movies that, that almost happen and then fall apart and then almost happen and fall apart. It's a, it was a long journey for this one and I feel even more just satisfied in the sense that we got to do it ourselves and see yeah. the vision from start to end and, you know, we at a lot of different points had different directors attached to make it and so there's just something very satisfying about, you know, seeing it all the way through. Was that something that just didn't come together that, or did you guys always want to direct it? In other words, or did you have to prove yourself? How did you finally get a shot to make it? You know, it was like, it's such a, it, it did, it did have this, like Nat said, this, all, you know, it's happening, it's not happening type thing. And I think it's all, you're just waiting for everything sort of to align. And then we waited, you know, many years and then we ended up, uh, this script obviously got us the job uh, working on The Descendants and that sort of right. took us out. and. And then when we came back to the way back, and we realized, you know, it was sort of free of hands. It was, fr you know, we had it was out of the hands of the studio that had at the time, and it was a chance for us to actually do it sort of grassroots in a way, and sort of do it the way that we always intended. So we really did do the more grassroots approach with our friend Kevin Walsh, and we just sort of meaning you were ultimately able to make more of the movie that you wanted to make. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think through all those, you know travails and ups and downs I think we you obviously become more attached to the material it just becomes right. even more personal just because you're you're sort of on this journey with it and it's it's you know the highs and lows and, and then it just sort of got to a point where it was like why you know why put this in somebody else's hand and sort of have them you know create a vision for it when it's so connected to us it's right. based on something yeah. you know the first scene in the movie is based on something that happened in the gym when he was the score know, the yeah. one to ten, yeah, one to ten. So I was going to ask who had the worst childhood but... well it's hard <laughs> okay <laughs> well, we, can, we can in another movie dig into his but for now we took a chapter and was that a stepdad or a dad yeah, it was a stepdad yes wow. uh, it's my uh, was my mom's second husband Still around? Uh, he's still around, but not, they're not together. So we'll not be invited to the premiere? <laughs> I haven't seen him in many years. They were probably, that was probably just right after college that right. they split up. But anyway, he, he was, it, it was, yes, it was a personal. And, and, and to use the word irony appropriately, this was a movie that originally was possibly going to be made by Searchlight, right? Yes. 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 I know. Full circle. circle. For, yeah. Yes. And now they're kicking themselves. <laughs> Kicking uh, themselves. What? what? We, I mean, like that. They probably could have had it for, you know. Well, like uh, uh, they would have made it worse. Though. Better yeah. deal, maybe back then. They wouldn't have cast this kid. Exactly. No, we they wouldn't, wouldn't have wanted to. You it know, it all happens for a reason. I mean, it's, 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 it is a cliche. What if Joseph Gordon-Levitt or you know, yes. you know, Emil Hirsch? Tell me about uh, your fine actor. I mean, and Liam, this is uh, obviously a huge uh, part for you. You guys met early. Uh, what did you see in him, and what did Liam did you see in these guys? I'll start with you guys. Why did you want to make this movie? Um, I don't. I when I read it, I read the script. I, I really enjoyed the script, and then when I met them, it was a a really great audition. Like they're both, they made me all feel so comfortable in the room. And I think that's what made me do um, feel the most comfortable to be able to give them the best performance, and I think that's why I got it. Wow. He did great. What did you see in him that maybe you didn't see in the character? What did the actor bring to the part? To have no confidence at the beginning and then a lot of confidence at the end. And right. I think Liam so clearly was able to do that in the audition. And he, he just sort of walked in and, you know, just sort of sunken shoulders a little bit mm -hmm. and just kind of right. came in. And it was like, you know, it's, it's so neat when that happens. You, right. when you, you instantly you, felt drawn to him. And, you know, you, you understood him almost just by that. And then I remember he, we had you that time, and then we, you came back, yeah. and we did a different scene, yeah. and we did a little scene later, which is just a moment for, uh, where Duncan sort of, you see a little, confidence. him, yeah. a little confidence coming, just enough. And it really was that moment that sold us the most. Uh, I mean, we already sort of knew, and this sort of just took us right over the fence, because just to see Liam at that moment smile, it was just like, you knew that this was the kid that people would 
would attach themselves and, to. And people who pay very close attention to posture would absolutely notice your posture changes through the course of this film, that by the end of the movie, you're actually standing upright, your shoulders are back, and you're standing tall. Mm -hmm. Was that something you felt kind of would, would help work with the character? Yeah, I mean, my posture, to be honest, isn't the best, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was important to not, but w w depending on your, how your mood is, you can feel more confident and I think that helped like the character's mood changes his posture a little bit. You guys are obviously making your directorial debut with this film. You've been around a lot of other performers. You've been around a lot of directors. Do you find yourself coming up with your own style, learning from people who you saw do it well or learning from people who did it badly and avoiding what they did? You know, it's, it's, it's a good question because I think, you know, this being our first time out of the, you know, the gates, and we've had that experience, but I think what we look forward to the most, you know, uh, should we obviously would love to do this and continue to do this, is sort of to evolve that way. And I think we, you know, we just uh, went into this wanting to learn as much as we could and take what we had learned, and then sort of find our own aesthetic, you know, and style as we as we moved on through it. We just knew we wanted to be true and get to the story and just let it be, you know. Yeah, so and I think being actors and and you know, working with a lot of people, you you understand, I think, there are things that work well or you can respond to or things that, you know, you may not respond to. And so I think it was sort of an organic process. I think we sort of developed it as we went a little yeah, bit. And right. I think that it will continue to evolve. Hopefully we'll get another opportunity to do this again. And I think we'll learn from what we did and on we this movie. We're lucky and along the way to have some mentors or people that we at least got to observe. We were so lucky mm -hmm. to be obviously working with Alexander Payne. So we watched him. We worked with Jason Reitman. We, we watched him. Uh, Tay Taylor is a good friend of ours and he had just finished help and he was instrumental in sort of talking to us about what to expect and uh, it was it really was like going into it just sort of sorbing as much as we could. Let me ask you this last question about the last scene. Uh, the Hollywood version of this movie has a different ending where maybe Steve Carell's character is redeemed, maybe there's some sort of redemption scene, maybe everything works out, maybe you get the girl. I'm curious, you clearly intentionally didn't want to do that. And was that your point from the very beginning, that this wasn't going to be wrapped up in a neat bow, and why? It is our intention, you know, we knew we had this, uh, I, I think we both react to those wonderful things of the suggestion of this change that's coming, you know, and so allowing the audience to know that there's still more for, for these characters to go through, but they're making that critical change in their life and you know we didn't want to go down the same road and also specifically with Trent's character we really wanted to create this tragic male character who doesn't necessarily change he's stuck and he's in this cycle that he, he is his own worst enemy he cannot break and I think those are as a great character it's not it's not a character that you naturally go oh he's gonna redeem himself but you know this is a story about a mother and a son finding their way back to each other. So he's instrumental in that. And I think you give a lot of credit to Steve for yeah. jumping into something like that, you know, where I think a lot of actors are saying, well, he doesn't change or he doesn't redeem himself or I'm not going to be likable. And right. here, you know, there's something so tragic about a guy who just can't change the cycle at all, you know, and that he, as best as he can, is just a, a tragic sort of, he's stuck in this circle of, you know, where he's just never gonna break out of it. And I credit Steve for, for being okay with that and, you know, embracing it. Well, every good comedy needs a little bit of tragedy, right? That's right. Absolutely. And there you have it. Welcome to our lives. Well, thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> thank Thanks you for your time. Congratulations. Congratulations.